All right, guys, welcome back to the Road to Super Sonic Legends series. We're on episode number 35, and today we are Bad Breathamir. Thank you so much for the suggestion once again, but this photo is cursed. And I think the photos are getting worse as we go through this series, but hope you guys are enjoying them nonetheless. Um, I'm a little bit worried about this title because I think that people might recognize this is one of my episodes. Hopefully we don't get called out in the episodes, but we'll see if... Uh, Let's see if anyone catches on. But today we are Champ 3 Division 4 from the last episode. If you didn't check it out, basically we we're just talking about a lot of rotations and positioning and, and good good ways of keeping pressure, um, as always. We, should, we talk about that a lot, obviously, because it's very important. But in this episode, we should be making it into Grand Champion 1, hopefully in the first game or so. But if you guys are enjoying the episodes and the daily unique content, and you haven't subscribed yet, and you want to help the road to 1 million subscribers, it helps out a ton if you hit that subscribe button. But for now, let's get into the episode see how it goes. All right, we got Vibe Checker on my team, and we got a, I'm Smurfing Saws. <laughs> or sorry, this guy's not here. And Blex is uh, his teammate. We'll see how this goes. Good, good challenge. See the guy just uh, getting ready for the uh, the challenge there. Good play by Vibe Checker. This guy's turning pretty late, so he's gonna be a little bit caught caught off guard. Both players committing, which is good, because then my teammate can challenge, and we should be in a good position here. I got this boost to make sure the guy behind us. Doesn't uh, have any way of getting boost on his way back. Should be able to challenge that. I see my teammate coming in. Good. It's a good try. It's not the greatest touch, but we should have some possession now. I'm going to make sure to make a soft touch here so it goes close to me. Should pop out middle for hopefully my teammate. Good of him not to challenge. It's a pretty difficult situation. Good play. Let's see if uh, this guy turns. He might not. See that guy pretty obviously making a, a turn there. Should be a shot, hopefully. Nice try. Um, in that situation, I could tell that uh, the one guy was going to turn because of his body language. This guy's uh, pretty fast. Over one. Over the other one. Hopefully, my teammate can come in and finish. Close. Good save. Good boost steal from, uh, from my teammate. I'll come across here. I definitely beat this guy if I just go fast. So I just want to make sure I beat him on that challenge. Good. Kind of passed it to me so I can pop it towards net. Both of them are committing. Get a vibe checker to wait for that. That kind of passes it back to the uh, the opponent on that touch. But hopefully I can make a touch into the corner here. See what smurfing does here. Go behind him. Guy's trying to go for a bumper or, or rotate out, which is fine. Teammate uh, is backing off. I'll go for another touch. Should pop up and I'll get the boost steal from him. So now smurfing is pretty low, which means my teammate can probably turn on this. Good. Not a great clear from the one guy on the backboard there, but he's going to get that mid boost, which was going to keep the pressure. Okay, both players kind of uh, committed kind of weird. And I ended up popping off the wall to pass to my teammate, but he was under the ball still, so it wasn't the greatest touch. Pop it off off the backboard. Hopefully my teammate can follow for a shot. Good try. If I go early on this, I can beat them. I should be able to shoot that towards target, and there we go. So what I do there is wait in midfield. My teammate made a pass down to the uh, the opponent there. He got a really high clear. If I just do a quick turn in the middle of the field, it's definitely easier for me to go for because the ball's rolling towards me. It's a pretty solid game, though. You can tell the, uh, the one guy is definitely uh, a smurf. He's playing pretty fast. But he's not making the most consistent touches, so I'd say he's probably, like, high grand champ, if anything. Oh. That guy, like, kind of threw the ball away with that touch. I'll wait behind here. Uh, it's not the greatest position. I'll go behind my teammate. It's going to get a flick over the one. I can tell the guy was going to try and follow up right away, so I want to make sure I challenge that immediately when he let, lets go of that possession. Pop it towards goal. It might not be in. Oh, it is. There we go. So the guy kind of panicked and flicked it away. He had more time on this ball right here. If Blex is uh, able to hold on to the ball, he kind of gives it to me, and then I'm able to clear towards the net. Not too, not too difficult there. I think that's like definitely feasible. Um, just to wait for those opportunities. Like I said, wait for your time to strike. This guy's trying to do a fake kickoff. See if Lex passes it down. So Smurfing actually ended up going further back. He didn't try to support his teammate after that fake challenge. Or the fake uh, kickoff, which is interesting. He probably should have went up a field to help him with the pass down. Because Lex made a good pass. Should have pop over one. See if uh, Smurfing wants to make a touch here. Right here, I can go for the bumps, too. Not the greatest play, but teammate gets a good dunk, and I can get a bump here as well. So it was a little bit overcommit. Go for a shot, see if my teammate can make it clear. Nice try. 
Okay, they, they passed. I should have taken that boost, by the way, but it's okay. Nice demo. So right here, I'm going to sit here and get the 50 force, 50 50. Get them to play play into the ball. It's a good try. See my teammate's ball here. Good clear. Got a disconnection. Oh. Oh. Oh boy, the server's breaking. Oh no, it's deteriorating. Is that in? Oh no. <laughs> what is going on? Oh no. <laughs> oh. Oh my god, this is horrible. I don't know what's happening anymore. Oh, good pass. <laughs> ah, did I hit it? What? What? <laughs> this guy seems to be doing okay. His ping is fine. Are we being DDoS right now? Nope. <laughs> Oh, unfortunate. You hate to see it. Is it balancing out? I mean, it's sort of okay. Waiting behind smurfing. See if he makes another touch. Should we be able to get a challenge at least to get it off their possession? Both players are up in the air. So that should give us an opening here if I just move forward. I won't shoot it on target. I'll just pop it around. And we should be able to just kill off the time here. And there we go. So we get the first win. What a, what a game though. That server... Definitely was having trouble. Couldn't handle the smurfs in this lobby, apparently. That wasn't the division up yet. We're still division four, so hopefully we rank up in the next game. I think actually we might not, because I think we have to make it to 15-15 to make it up to Drench at once. So could be two more games, maybe at the end of this episode. All right, it's M Fresh on my team, and uh, he's a season one grand champion. We got Protoff and Salts on the other team. So I'm gonna keep an eye on those names. Uh, I know that people have mentioning uh, have been mentioning uh, that I say their names instead of. Uh, Instead of just saying that guy or something. I like to do that because I like to uh, make it easier for you guys to know who I'm talking about when I mention someone's name. It'll be a good bump. Just be able to pop it up. Keep it safe. Protoff missed the ball. So now my teammate can come in and get the boost and make it, maybe make a pass across. I see him staying pretty close to the ball. So I don't want to overcommit with him. It's all about whether or not he lets go of the ball or, or you know, stays behind. Right here, both players are trying to commit. Just be able to take the boost and then wait for this next touch. Kind of pops it to me. Teammate commits with me in the corner. That's fine though. Have a chance at a flick. Oh, oh. Well, he just passed it to me. I, I, I mean, got to take those, right? Because that's like pretty much open. But yeah, as, as much as as far as like uh, saying their names and stuff, I like to use like their names in the game instead of just like the guy who touched the ball and stuff. So that way, like, um, it's easier for mobile users and stuff. That's why I actually have my uh, my user or my names nameplates to 200%. So it's way easier to read on a, a mobile phone. But uh, anyway, let's move into the episode here. Good catch from a teammate to be a decent try to a uh, shot. Salt should make a, a touch off the corner. And because of that, I already know that he's trying to make a touch. I'm waiting in midfield for that touch first. Oh, what a touch from Salts. I don't think he meant to do that. This miss in the corner is actually pretty difficult for me to go into because there's three players on it. Two of them are the opponent and one of them is my teammate. So there's a better chance that it's going to work out for them. I'm trying to avoid bumps if I can. See if he stays with this. It's a smart first touch. Good try. It'll pop it over one. It wasn't the greatest touch because it gives it, it gives it to uh, Protoff, but I should be able to get back by my teammate. This guy's got pretty good possession. I really like this guy. You see, I didn't go up for that until afterwards, and now I can get the free goal. You know, sometimes you have to have a little bit of a trigger, uh, you know, what's it called? Trigger uh, <laughs> patience on the trigger because when he's, when he's making that clear, I see that he's following behind the ball. He's going to try and make it clear to the corner. So instead, what I do is I wait. If the guy was further away in the corner, maybe I would go for that. But if I'm contemplating the idea of the fact that the opponent might actually make a challenge, I want to keep that in mind and, and be more patient on the ball. All right, so Protoff missed the ball again. His backboard reads and his back touches, back wall touches are not the greatest. So I've been taking advantage of that, but I won't, you know, I won't anymore. We're already two goals up. I'll make it clear to the right. See if my teammate can follow it up. Good try. It's a pretty fast aerial. So here, I'll put it to the corner if I can. And it'll bounce off the corner so I can pop it quickly and beat both players in the corner. Salt is backing off. I'll pop this to the side. Good try. I'm under the ball, so I want to be careful not to just jump up for it right away. Because I have no power if I go under the ball like that. There's a good chance that if they're moving faster, they could beat me. So I just back off instead. But it's good to see that this server is uh, more stable, for sure. I'm probably going to touch it there. I'll just wait for the, the pop. 
Pop it to the side. Portov's going to collect and try to make a play over us. It's over my teammate, but I'm, a I'm able to support him. Kind of actually goes towards the net, but a really good save for my teammate. So it wasn't the greatest uh, challenge for me. Silver one. Pop it again. That le lets go of possession, as you can see. Would have been better for you to hold on to it, obviously. Good touch to the side. Let my teammate touch again. And then right here, it's going to roll up the wall. Always be careful of those rolling like curves there. It's always going to roll up the wall when it's hitting that cur the corner there. I got a challenge, at least. Wasn't the greatest challenge. I was too busy trying to think about that, that corner ramp thing. On that ramp in the back corner, um, it, it will roll up the wall. It's going to be ready for that. And I usually sit in the back back corner of the wall by the goal to wait till I see when that goes up. That was a great great shot from him. Definitely should be challenging earlier, but I was just too busy talking. I should have <laughs> should have covered that. You don't want to be, like I've talked about this in the last couple episodes, you don't want to be covering um, your teammate's positioning. You don't, you don't want to be in the same spot. Great finish from my teammate. And there we go. Just a quick beat off that um, that side wall. I get touch off the side and then immediately pop it because I know that the, team might, the opponent might challenge. My teammate's able to finish it. Great placement. So we're two goals up. I think we could probably just chill a little bit again. But as you can tell, me chilling, it's starting to like bite me in the butt if I'm just chilling because people are like actually pretty good. Oh, teammates got it. So if I like, if I hesitate or anything, people are actually gonna start to, uh, you know, take advantage of that like that. See, if you, if you just sit there and wait, people are gonna start pouncing on the ball and making a shot. Gotta be a little bit faster. A decent try. I was expecting a, a, more of a catch than a 50-50. And then uh, Protoff actually was under the ball at the same time. So we're, we're, we're one goal up. Not a big deal. Okay, my teammate gets on this ball. Good play. So the opponent's going to have this. I don't want to push up with the little boost I have. Instead, I'm going to collect a few pads and just wait behind. There we go. All I'll do is I'll just pop this in middle, see if my teammate wants to go for it. It's, it's, I wouldn't say it's the greatest ball to go for because it's already like going towards target. You're not going to change the uh, trajectory much. There we go. I knew I could beat him there if I just go fast. But yeah, like, when the ball's already threatening, sometimes it's better just let let that be a thing. You know what I mean? Let that be threatening already. There's no need to go again. There's no need to... Uh, that, wasn't, that wasn't the greatest touch, by the way. It goes right to the opponent. Um, there's no need to go again. You can just let the, uh, the opponent have to make a defensive touch, waste their boost, and then you still have lots of boost waiting in midfield. They're not gonna go on this because they could make a shot. Even if they, if even if they did miss, it's it's better to have good muscle memory as both players, and it should be an open goal for me. So good challenge for my teammate to get that 50-50 uh, out to mid. Both players coming out on the other team, and we get a free win there. Not free win. I shouldn't have said free win. That's not what I mean. But uh, yeah, that was a pretty solid solid game there. My teammate was really solid, making good challenges, making good 50-50s, and uh, covering positions. Well played, well played. I don't think that's gonna be the rank up yet. We're at 15:07. Uh, Probably one more before we promote. Yes. As long as we get eight points. All right, we got Salts again. He's on my team this time. Um, if we do make it uh, to Grand Champion in this game, we will have officially made it to Grand Champion without losing a single game from Bronze, <laughs> which is incredible. It's a pretty pretty cool feat. Obviously, I am like SSL in top five in certain playlists, but um, you know, I'm still trying to play at the rank for the most part, and my teammates have honestly been pretty solid and. Haven't had to like try too difficult, like too hard to uh, cooperate with different ranks, but so far it's been good. That was a good 50-50 uh, for my teammate once again. And obviously I'm shooting that pretty accurately, but if you just practice those in free play over and over and over again, just bang it off the backboard, go nice and high and take your time. I'm just feathering my boost. I'm not doing anything too crazy. I'm not doing freestyles or anything. Just going for a normal shot. The guy didn't go for boost. I mean, didn't go for the ball. So I'm going to flick it up nice and high again. And there we go. Salt should be able to go for this. Wait to see what happens with the pinch. Good. See if he makes a touch here. He doesn't. He's going to probably turn right away with a boost. Probably feels confident that he has the boost to go for that challenge. See if my teammate goes for the shot. Close. Good try. All right. So this is still pretty dangerous because Cat has possession off the, off the sidewall. But once he let go of the ball a little bit there, then I was able to challenge. Good pop off the corner. Good clear. Should be able to follow this up. See if Cat makes a clear. Good save. Pull the backboard again, see if you can go for it. Good save. They're both on it. I'm going to wait here and pop it across to my teammate if I can. Good catch from Goblin to wait for that. Teammate's not going, so I'm going to go instead. Get a good 50-50. Because he went for that back corner, I wanted to make sure I stayed on that. Right here, there's time for me to just catch this. Don't have to panic. Don't have to let go of it. Just let the opponent 
panic and throw the ball out like that. It was, a bad, it was a bad clear. I thought the guy was going to challenge, so I just tried to pop it nice and high. Cat's here for a shot. Okay. My teammate wants me to take it. I could tell from the way that he turned away the last second. And Goblin's going to take it back. It's a good touch to take it back. I'm not sure why he's flipping all over the place, but he could just stay with this. So it's not the greatest touch for me. It's going to probably be a, a shot from him. Ends up clearing it, though, and the opponent was out of position. So right here, he should be focusing on shooting it forward, which he is. I'm trying to bump this guy off if I can. Assault should take this back if he can. It's not the greatest to bring it across. Sometimes it is okay, but when I'm trying to recover and get some boost, um, it's probably better to just wait and bring it back. I got to cover this after my teammate left the ball at mid. There we go. Let's pop this out again and see what happens. I need boost, so it's good to just relinquish possession. I just grab some boost and reset with my teammate who's behind me. Good. He might go immediately. That's why I'm going to panic. Uh, I'm not going to panic. I'm not going to panic. I'm not going to panic and, and just wait for them to make the touch. All right. Here we go. Should be a clear. The guy was waiting. He just was trying to posture. Okay. I should have a clear. It's a good shot towards target. I just clear to the corner. See if Salt wants to make a turn. I'm not too worried about this. Probably going to be a pretty hard shot to get good power on unless he went earlier. That's fine. It ends up working out for us. Cat's in a good spot to cover it, though. This is going to be a clear from Goblin. i got to wait for this touch. And Cat's trying to follow it up. He's waiting too patiently on the floor, though, so I can turn on it and make a challenge. Pop it up the middle. I'm trying to get out of the way. Ooh. Oh, what a save. So right there, what I was trying to do is pass the middle, but because of the way that I passed it weakly uh, to keep it soft... It actually keeps my car close. So what I did was I boosted it out of the way at the last second. I'll just make sure to beat him there and not go accurately. It's pretty dangerous for me to go for it. Goblin's trying to bump. Pop it around him if I can. It's going to bump, pop up. See if my teammate can go for it. Good try. There we go. Should be a, a good challenge there. The guy was looping around too much. Should be an open shot here. Goblin like, tried to pull it in uh, midfield and then loop it back out. Better that he takes it across to this open space to the right here. Um, that way he keeps it away from goal side. So I was able to get a challenge once I saw the goal side open. And then it pops off the backboard. Obviously these things are like really, really happening really, really fast in these games now. But after some muscle memory, you should be able to get used to the timings of those kind of things. You just got to keep practicing it. Like I said, people at this rank, they're probably got like close to like at least 2,000 hours. 1,000, 2,000 hours. So if you're newer to the game and you want to get at this rank, it's going to take a lot of work. A lot of effort, a lot of uh, a lot of practice. Right here, the guy has a, a pretty clear shot towards net, so I want to be a little bit careful. I'll pop this up nice and high and see what happens. Once again, it's a situation where it's already in possession of the... Uh... Oh, good try. Uh, it's already in possession of the uh, the opponent since I threw it down the field. Why don't you let them make a touch and then try to cover it? Are right, you probably going to cut it in? Be a little bit careful with that. Good. Try to get middle for this. It's not going to be on target, but it could bounce out for my teammate. And there we go. So that ball bouncing off the sidewall was a little bit dangerous. If Goblin was closer, he was pretty far away, though. Um, so I was able to get up ahead and then pop the ball forward. And then Salt just had an easy cleanup. And he was pretty solid that game, too. Salt was good in the last game as well. Protoff was the one that was making all the mistakes on the backboard. But that's a pretty solid game. Let's see if we get the, uh, the grand champion here. We should. We got nine points, so we're 15-16. Let's see it. Hey, there we go. So we're in Grand Champion 1. We're in the fourth highest rank without losing a single game. So one game away from 69 matches played this season as well. You'd love to see it. I hope you guys are enjoying the episode so far. Um, let me know what you guys want me, my next name to be and next profile picture. I've been looking through old comments as well to keep track of uh, who's saying things first. Until next time, have a great day, guys, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.